12-year-old Olivia O'Donnell loves to bake. And a year ago, when her father Chuck was diagnosed with cancer, her passion took on a whole new meaning as she started selling her cupcakes and donating all proceeds to cancer research. Well, today, I'm here to give Olivia and the whole O'Donnell family a new kitchen where she can continue to help others for years to come. My name is Olivia O'Donnell and I'm 10 years old. I live in Rockway, New Jersey, and I'm going to Copeland Middle School for sixth grade. I started baking when I was eight, and I found a passion for it, and I've been baking ever since, like, at least six times a week. Hi, I'm Charles O'Donnell. And I'm Jamie O'Donnell. And this is our house in Rockaway, New Jersey. Um, we have two beautiful daughters, uh, Molly, age 13, and Olivia, age 10. Olivia's always been a creative child, but I believe she's really found her passion with baking. She just loves it. Uh, trying her own frosting recipes, trying, you know, dad taste this, and I don't want to taste this all the time, but it's always something good, you know, always something great, you know, and as I try to go to the, back to the gym again, so it's just a lot of fun to, to see her practice and have a passion for something. Last year, Memorial Day, I was diagnosed with colon rectal cancer. Um, just kind of came out of nowhere, was not expecting it like most people. And from that moment on, life took a, just a different turn. So it was radiation and chemo in the beginning, uh, surgery, um, an ileostomy, uh, while also having kidney stones, uh, reversal of the ileostomy and 18 more weeks of chemo. And here we are today. Um, I have a clean bill of health at the moment and everything's going extremely, extremely well. The cancer was never gonna get in the way of what we're all about, ever. So the cake to kind had started everything. Uh, on my last day of chemo, uh, Olivia had baked a very, very large sheet cake for the nurses and the patients. And on top of it was a Superman logo and a Flash logo because she knows how much I love superheroes. And when the people there found out that a 10-year-old had baked it from scratch and they just went crazy for it. So after Olivia baked this cake for the hospital, I had posted it and someone from the American Cancer Society saw it and contacted me. So she asked me if we would want to be a part of the Relay for Life. I donated 800 cupcakes to the Relay for Life and I sold them there. And we had over $3,500 um, donated for cancer research. Um, it was hard because our oven is not very good and we had to wait an hour after we even made the batter to keep putting them in and out one at a time. Some of the restrictions in the kitchen, uh, I cannot stand coming home and watching her climb the cupboards to get down what she needs. Um, that drives me nuts. The fact that the kitchen is always a disaster because she's running back and forth between the garage and the kitchen and the other refrigerator and um, it just doesn't work. You know, the stove doesn't work, the microwave doesn't work very well, it kind of holds her back. She spends a lot of time uh, where she could be creating and baking new things, just working around the limitations of the kitchen. Um, I would definitely like to raise more money for cancer research and um, I feel that cancer was, is one of the main illnesses and I want to make it go away. Hey, how's it going everyone? Hi! Hi, nice George, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are so you? I'm excited, I'm like shaking. Yes, how's it going? You Molly? Yep. You must be Olivia. Bring it in, Olivia. How are you? Good, how are you? I have heard so much about you. So uh, I am here because I need a cup of sugar. I'm baking something down the street. No, no, I am here to rescue you guys. Chuck, I heard everything you've gone through. I've heard about you, Olivia. I mean, geez, Louise, people are screaming your name from the mountaintops. So uh, I just want to let you know that we're here to, uh, to make that kitchen better than ever for you. What do you think, Liv? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right. You know how it works. I'm going to have to ask you guys to pack up, get out of here, because it wouldn't be a surprise if you guys were living here while I was doing the project. Yep. So pack your bags, get your stuff. We got a place for you to go. I'm going to come in with my crew. We're going to destroy that kitchen and build it back better than ever. All right? Sounds All right. Good. All right. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Let's get to work. All right, guys. Welcome to the O'Donnells. Helping us out in this rescue, we have our contractor, Jeff Silverberg, and our lovely designer, Michelle Wallach. As you can see, this is the kitchen. It is what one might call cozy. And that's why I brought you guys in on this rescue, so that we could do something really special for the family 
and make this kitchen outstanding, out of this world. I think the only thing worth saving in this kitchen is the fridge and of it's course the picture of Olivia. Absolutely. But uh, everything else, yeah. boom. Problem is out. with that refrigerator, it's an extra large fridge. I don't yeah. know how we're gonna get it out of here because these openings are too small. Right. So we may have to just knock a wall down or something. Hell yeah, because I mean, it's not a it's not a big house and, and, and it's not like we can expand because it's yeah. a townhouse. So we really are dealing with, you know, the walls that we have right here, except for this wall right here. You, you were saying knock it this down. This wall we will take down because that is not a bearing wall. Okay. This wall over here, we have a bearing wall to deal with. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna put a new power lamp beam in, post down to the ground here, and then this wall will expose into the uh, dining room. And it looks like we have eight foot ceilings. I think we need to take the cabinets up to the ceiling to maximize our vertical space and hopefully help them with some storage. Now Jeff, I'm just thinking, if we knock down this wall, that means we are opening up the kitchen into the living room, dining room. Right. So we're gonna have to incorporate the living room, dining room in the rescue. Absolutely. What, what are you thinking? What we're doing is there's an existing fireplace. Yep. We're gonna tie that fireplace into the kitchen so everything yeah. ties together as one. We got some incredible ideas with the trim work to be on the other wall. So everything will flow as one. So we gotta get rid of this broken old oven, this terrible microwave, and get her something new. I, I don't know, double oven? We or need a, a double oven. oven, that was the first thing, absolutely. Jeff, do you think we can fit it anywhere? I think that uh, we're gonna go with a uh, cooktop, not a range. Okay. And we somehow uh, snuck in a double oven, which would be amazing for bacon. That's great, I mean, if she can cook 700 cupcakes in this, imagine what imagine. she can do with a double oven. 2,400 in a day. I, did, I just can't wait for it to be over so we can eat the cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, I am psyched. We definitely have a great game plan, opening this whole place up, ripping everything out. Brand new kitchen, soup to nuts. Shall we start this rescue? Let's get it. it going. All right. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by Benjamin Moore. For everything that matters, there's a deep, rich, enduring color. Benjamin Moore, for everything that matters. Find a store near you at BenjaminMoore.com. Let's do some demo. I got anything and everything you could possibly need. I got safety glasses, I got ear protection, and I got respirators. Let's start ripping this place apart. Now along with protecting your eyes, your ears, and your lungs, you also want to protect the house. And that's why we've sealed off the area that we're doing the demo, all the work in, from the rest of the house. I all think right. our designer should take the first whack at the wall. 100%. All right. Yeah! You guys are welcome to get in here. I mean, I can do it all by myself, because I'm awesome with that. Now normally, I would take a sledgehammer to these cabinets, but these cabinets are still in good working order. So we're just gonna get them out of the house, and hopefully, some other family can use them. But Olivia, you're getting new ones. I think we're just about done with the demo. Yeah, basically we gotta do a little cleanup. A little uh, cleanup, and then uh, we'll get the framing going. Totally missed your hand on that Horrible. one. Horrible. Yeah. There we are, there we are! Woo! That was bad. Jeff, you know what this kitchen needs? What is that, George? Cabinets. Yeah, I would say so. So, uh, why don't we take a ride down to Creative Cabinetry and see what's going on? All right, I'll drive. Let's go. This is what we're doing for the O'Donnell's. Yeah. That's the new kitchen. That's so their just, kitchen. We've taken out these walls, they no longer exist. And what we're putting in its place is all of this. We're bringing the cabinets up to the ceiling. I love this island right here. Yeah, the only thing is with this picture, we just didn't do that. This is gonna be a different color. This is the main kitchen cabinet doors, oh, which I is like a it. flat panel. Beautiful. Um, this is the exact silestone product that we're gonna use for the countertops. This is the island color. I got something special behind that door over there. Is that the shop? Is that That's where we can shop. go and actually build some Let's of these go. cabinets? Let's go take a look and see what's being made right now. Let's do it. Hey, 
Hey, George, you know, if Jeff had given us enough warning you're doing this for us, we could probably install this tomorrow. Hey, uh, if I have to work through the night, Manny, I'll get it done for you. I think uh, Creative's got themselves a new employee. That's what, what I do you think? think? It all starts with good mentors, good teachers. I got the best around with these two, so uh, two. Wait, I, I count three here. No, 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 we're these uh, guys. Not uh, you. All right. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information on 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. Jeff, I can't help thinking about this fireplace. I love the idea of incorporating it now that we're opening everything up, but I just, we gotta make sure that it, that it flows. You're right. Let's make this whole wall pop to tie it in. I love that. Remove everything, the mantle, the hearthstone, the wall stone. And we're gonna bring in this new tile that mimics off of the kitchen floor and stack it straight up to the top of the ceiling. And then raise panels going up. There'll probably be about three to four raised panels here and then run crown molding all the way around to tie into the kitchen cabinet. I love that. We want Benjamin Moore bath and spa for these rooms because it has low odor and low VOC, so it's safe for everybody in the family. Best of all though, it has fantastic color. We're using uh, Standish White in here, and it's formulated specially to resist mildew. So in bathrooms or in kitchens where you're doing a lot of cooking, maybe you got a lot of steam coming off the pot, you don't have to worry about there ever being any mildew or any sort of grime that grows on the wall. You wipe it right down, it's durable, the color's not going anywhere. It's pretty much the perfect paint, especially in the kitchen. What are we doing? We need, where's this going? This is actually the cooktop cabinet, which, which will be next, but in order to put that in, we gotta cut a hole. And we put the 3M Scotch Blue Painters Tape on there to protect the finished cabinet so that when the saw goes through it, there's no fraying, there's no splintering. More than one way to skin a cat, or more than one way to use painters tape. Well, some of the things we've done uh, here for Olivia, because she's, uh, you know, she's not as tall as right. some of us are. We did like a little toe tool here so that she can pull it out uh -oh. and uh, open oh. it. And that thing just lives right down in there. Absolutely. So she can, uh, you know, put it here and reach up and and it's strong enough to hold the big guy, even like me. So she'll be fine. On it. For the countertops in the O'Donnell's kitchen, we went with Silestone. It's made from quartz, so it's not porous, thus it's not gonna stain. It's also really hard, so it's impact and scratch resistant. And best of all, it's made with an antibacterial formula, which will help prevent bacteria from growing on your countertops. Drop in a cooktop, put in a sink, dishwasher. You're done. George's Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker Real Estate, fulfilling dreams for 107 years. The tricky part about doing backsplash tile is you're always having to work around all kinds of different things. Like we have the wires here, which is gonna go into our under cabinet lighting where we already have our outlets in. It's not like tiling a floor, which is just an open surface. It's a little bit more obstacles. But it'll get done. It'll get done. We are moments away from cupcake time. Almost done. It's not a reveal, it's cupcake time. That's what this rescue is all about. So Michelle, how high are we gonna hang these drapes? Okay, great question, George. Most people think when they just come home with their drapery rods, think that it should be hung right above the window casing, right here above the trim. And that doesn't give any height to the room, especially when we're dealing with an eight foot ceiling. I want to accentuate the height and bring your eye up to this beautiful crown molding. So I want to hang the rod right below the crown at about 90 inches up. And that way we'll get more length in our drape and it'll feel like a taller window.
Oh, did it. it did come with a wrench. Oh, okay. <laughs> Capital lighting has arrived with our chandelier. Let's get it installed. A lot of times people think color, you have to have like reds, blues, and oranges. Exactly right. Not the case. Right. By just using darks and lights right. and different shades, right. you do have different color. You have plain dinnerware. Mm -hmm. You can just buy a new accent salad plate and use it for dinner parties or whatever. Inexpensive plates, but it changes the whole look. And we created a really soothing environment with that balance of light and dark. And with that, this place is done. Let's get Olivia and the family. Go oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Hilton Short Hills of Northern New Jersey, where exceptional hospitality awaits. This project for Olivia and also the family is going to be an amazing thing. She's going to have this gorgeous kitchen with so much space. Knowing that I helped out a family from my, my hometown that I grew up in, it's just a, it's a joy. There's a passion there. And now to see the finish, it's unbelievable. Well, Olivia does so much for others, raising money for cancer, that it feels so good to really just do something for her. I'm so excited to be able to have given Olivia a kitchen that works, that she's able to really bake in. She can do multiple things at once. She has a lot of you know, counter surface now. She has two ovens. So to be able to just give her that, I can't imagine what she's going to be able to create and all the people that she's going to be able to touch through her baking. Reveal time. Hey, Olivia. Hey, guys. Hey, George. How's everyone doing? Good, good, good. Good to see you, my friend. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi, Molly. <laughs> you guys ready to do uh, check out the new kitchen? So ready. Yes. So glad to be home. You ready to do some bacon in there? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I think uh, we've got you definitely hooked up. I know you're going to be happy. I know you guys are all going to be happy. And I'll tell you, everyone who has come through this store, who's met me, who's been in this neighborhood, everyone is fans of you guys. And we're so excited just to uh, take part in this project. So. Uh, I'm excited to show you what we've done. We're excited Very to see excited. it. Shall we? Yes, we yes. shall. All right, without further ado, right. Olivia, you want to lead the way? Sure. <laughs> go oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Check this out. Oh my, are you kidding me with that? That is Oh my awesome. gosh, that is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. That Have you so ever cool. seen anything no. like that? I don't want to leave it. I, if, I could put, if I could put a blanket in a pillow, I would sleep there, but I love it. It looks so much more open, and without the wall there, it looks like a whole new space. And of course, we wanted to make sure that we had a, a beautiful kitchen, not just for Olivia, but really, it's a, it's a family rescue. It's for everything you've been through, Chuck, all of you guys. So, uh, yeah, Olivia, you're what brought us here, but this is, this is a family rescue. Yep. Obviously, I couldn't have done it all by myself. So, uh, everyone who helped us out on this project is outside. What do you say we? Go on out yeah, and greet them. Yes, All right. Exactly. Let's do that. All right. Hey. Awesome. I can't thank George enough um, and the whole team of people, but just the entire staff from beginning to the end and how wonderful everybody was with us and how accommodating everybody's been and 
just treating us like part of the George to the Rescue family. It's been just a wonderful experience from beginning to end. I know this is just the beginning, so I am so proud to be part of building this kitchen, and I know a lot of great's going to come out of it. So thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Chuck, and the entire O'Donnell family. One, two, three, rescue! All right, Miss Livy. So this is the place that you do your apprenticeship at, huh? Yeah. What are we doing today? Red velvet cupcakes. Great, let's get to work. All of the cupcakes I've eaten in my life, I have never actually baked any. On a scale of one to 10, as a rookie, how, how am I doing? Well, oh, don't judge me now, don't ju This one, <laughs> this one died. Oh dear. Just put that one like in, yep. in there. All right, Oop, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Goodness. That one's, I might have to eat this one. I'm sorry. Um, it's not good for business, probably, if we eat all of our product, but. Oh, go on. So good.